Hey guys, welcome to vteachacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to discuss about subtraction of decimals. So let me explain you with an example. Now let us subtract 7.625 minus 3.15. So while subtracting decimal numbers, one thing you need to remember is lining up these decimal numbers so that the decimal points always come in the same line. Now 7.625 minus 3.15 you can add one more zero after this that is adding any number of zeros doesn't change the value of the decimal number so now let's subtract 5 minus 0 is 5 carrying 1 here we get 12 minus 5 is 7 so earlier carried this number becomes 5 so 5 minus 1 is 4 now decimal point remain in the same position then 7 minus 3 is 4 hence 4.475 is the result for the given subtraction so let us take one more example. Now let us subtract 27.736 minus 6. Okay. Now let us line up these decimal numbers 27.736 minus 6, which is nothing but you can write 6.000. That is any number of zeros after the decimal point doesn't change the value of the decimal number. Now we can add a 0 over here also. Now the length of both the decimal numbers is equal so let's subtract these numbers so 6 minus 0 is 6 3 minus 0 is 3 7 minus 0 comes as 7 decimal points remains in the same position and then 7 minus 6 is 1 2 minus 0 is 2 hence 21.736 is the result for the given subtraction now what will be the result if you add a point before 6 so let's find out by subtracting 27.736 minus 0.6 now 0.6 is nothing but you can add two zeros before here in order to make the decimal number of the same length and two zeros after the number. Now this becomes as 00. 00.600. Now let us subtract the decimal numbers. So 6 minus 0 is 6, 3 minus 0 is 3, 7 minus 6 is 1. Decimal points remain in the same position. Now 7 minus 0 is again 7, 2 minus 0 is 2. Hence the result for the given subtraction is 27.136. So, hope you understood the basics of subtracting decimals. Do like and subscribe to vteachacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.